Hi, this is Cecil Pruitt with Spatial Integrated Systems, your East Coast value-added reseller for Siemens software products. In particular today, Solid Edge. Today I'd like to discuss with you uh, three different aspects of sectioning. A customer is asked whether or not he should employ dynamic clipping, section views, or live sectioning. Let me explain to you the advantages uh, and possible disadvantages of employing each of these tools. The customer in particular uh, wanted to be able to retrieve uh, sectioned configurations. Now configurations are fine. Configurations are great whenever we want to uh, whenever we want to retrieve specific hides and shows of a uh, of an assembly and when I say hides and shows I mean specifically uh, of parts but if a customer wants to see different cuts into a model I would probably suggest uh, a few different tools in specific what I would much rather the customer do is actually record sectional views in this case as you can see on the left hand side I've created section views already. Solid Edge can have as many section views as you desire. So in this case maybe if I were the customer I might like to have a section view like this or turn that off and have a different section view like this. And lastly maybe a section view like this. These are great. They're retrievable they're also suspendable. That way we don't have to see section views at all. Uh, a few years back, Solid Edge, uh, as, long, uh, as well as other CADs, also uh, invented something called dynamic clipping. And it was great for very quick peaks into a model. So, what am I talking about? If I go into the View menu and turn on Clipping Planes, then what I can do is that I can say let's take our clipping planes right now I I've, I've, let me undo mine turn it off and turn my set clipping planes on so I might want to pick a plane give it some depth and set it notice that the model disappears and with my clipping planes turned on as I can see here as I drag my clipping plane forward, what I will see is I'll see the model appear and I can stop at any moment to take a look at what's inside. And This is great, but what it doesn't allow me to do is it does not allow me to pick edges. I can go over to my home uh, tab and even choose drag component and providing that motion is capable within the model, I could pick a component and start to move. And as you can see, the dynamic plane updates with the position of the, uh, of the parts. That's okay. It doesn't do me a lot of great help. So I'm going to choose to reset. And maybe what I might do is say, well, I see the benefits of dynamic clipping for a very, very quick uh, peek into the model. So I'll just go back under my view and turn that off. Now if I had stuck with my section views maybe I chose something like uh, this section view I can still go to my home tab and choose drag component pick a part that is movable and I can get a better uh, view of what's going on within the model itself. Now let me reset my position. All of this is great, but sometimes what we want to be able to do is that we want to be able to to pick edges and to cause change with uh, with the effects of what we're displaying in our sections. For that, we have something called a live section. Live sections work on uh, they work on synchronous parts. So in this case, what I'll do is that I will double click, or I should say I will open, 
into a specific part that I'm synchronous. Yes, I know that there are unsaved changes. There we go. So here I am inside a synchronous part. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at edges and make decisions and make changes based off of edges in this synchronous part. So how do you do this? If you'll look under the, uh, under the planes, or I should say you can establish a plane. This is the icon I was looking for, live section. I can choose to create a plane. I'll start the plane here and I'll move it to a key point. So I would like for it to be at the halfway mark of the part. From here I'm going to choose a live section and you apply a live section to a plane. So as I click on the live section and I chose a plane, what I now see is I see sections or edge uh, edge lines of the part at that plane depth. The neat thing is is that I can have more than one live section. So once more I can choose to move say this plane to uh, this depth and once more choose to place a live section on that plane. So what I have now is I have the ability to see the edges of the part now, the cool part about this is that uh, in the same way that I could just click on a face inside Synchronous to change, uh, to change a model and see, the, uh, and see the live sections update, in the exact same way, I could also just click on the edges within the live sections themselves. So in this case, maybe I choose... Uh, this edge and actually give the part height. But don't let it fool you. You're clicking on an edge but in reality you're, you're doing the same as clicking on the face. So you can make modifications by using the edges of the part. What I like most about these live sections is that the live sections are editable. So if I were to click on the original live section, I can choose my uh, steering wheel and actually move that live section along the depth of the part and the live section itself changes. So I can get a very dynamic uh, preview of what the profiles look at any point in the model. So hopefully that's a great explanation of the differences between live sections section views, and dynamic clipping. Thanks a lot.